Hello, and welcome back to Random Vids. So today, I thought it'd be kind of cool to do a video that I've never done before. Talking about the Mario Kart characters. When do I ever do that, right? <laughs> Basically, if you all know, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has the biggest roster out of any of the Mario Karts. Well, besides Mario Kart Tour, of course, but I mean, out of the main ones, it has the biggest roster. We got a lot of characters from the original game, plus more in the DLC, and now we have even more with the Booster Course Pass. And you might be saying, uh, why aren't you doing this video once the last two Booster Course characters are out? Because, I mean, let's be real. The last three characters that have a big chance of coming in are all good characters. Pauline, Diddy Kong, Funky Kong, they're all pretty good characters. So it's like, there ain't too much, too much interesting about them. But with the bizarre characters we got in Wave 5, plus all these other ones, I thought it'd be kind of cool to rank all the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe characters. Now, here's some characters we're not going to be ranking. The ones from any of the other Mario Kart games that aren't in Mario Kart 8, for an example. Like, no Pauline, no Diddy Kong, because they're not in the game quite yet. And like I said, even if they will be in Wave 6, then they are going to be one of the ones who are going to be further up. None of the ones from the other games too, and none of the none of the ones who specifically have like like Yoshi, none of the colored Yoshis are gonna count, or Shy Guys and Birdos, or the Lynx, or the other Inklings, etc. But Gold Mario will count, just because I mean it's a separate name and stuff, so plus a separate character, plus you can unlock him, so I'm gonna count Gold Mario. Anywho, I hope you enjoy this ranking of the Mario Kart 8 roster. Let's get started with my absolute least favorite Mario Kart 8 character, and that is... Villager. The female villager. Literally, the most unnecessary Mario Kart character. And this ain't the only one. The next one, which is number 45, is... Male Villager. Literally, both of these characters could be interchangeable. Both of them are just... Uh, I don't understand why Mario Kart 8 decided to add non-Mario characters. The only non-Mario character we had before then was Rob. But Rob was a very... Like, underrated character who we didn't really see too much. All these people, they have their own games. Why are they in Mario Kart of all things? It's called Mario Kart for a reason, not Nintendo Kart. Plus, these guys costed a lot of what could have been good character spots. Like, we could have gotten Diddy Kong, or Birdo, Pauline, Kamek. This is before the booster course and all that. But no, instead we get these non-Mario characters which just wasted spots for some reason. Uh, I mean, I think you know where this list is going. Let's, let's move on to number 44. Isabelle. Literally, just another one of those dumb choices for a non-Mario character. Isabelle, the villagers, these guys are fun and fantastic in Smash Bros. But Mario Kart 8, they just don't fit because it's called Mario Kart 8, not Nintendo Kart. Like, I don't understand why we have all these random characters, but, like, not even these characters are in Mario Kart Tour they are so bad. And that's saying a lot, because Mario Kart Tour has the biggest roster out of any Mario Kart game. But not even these characters cut it for Tor. That's how bad they are. And like I said, Isabelle, she's a fine character. She just doesn't work in Mario Kart. I'm sorry, she just doesn't. Eh, let's just move on again to number 33, number 43, which is Link. Yet again, just another one of those unnecessary Nintendo characters. Why do we have The Legend of Zelda in here? And why is it only Link? Why not just have Link and Zelda? Why not have... Why? How about neither one? That sounds like a better option. I just don't, under I don't, I don't understand why Link is in Mario Kart 8, of all things. Like, uh, uh, what made them decide all these... All these non-Mario characters would be perfect for the Mario Kart 8 roster? Screw characters like Kamek, Birdo, Diddy Kong, or Pauline, or Nabbit, screw those ones. Nah, we're just gonna have Nintendo characters in it, because that makes all the sense. <sighs> Number 42 is... P 
pink gold peach. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the first out of many clone characters. Okay. Mario Kart Tour, a, a odd handheld in a odd handheld with literally any Mario character in the world with a bunch of custom skins, that's one thing. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, a main Mario Kart game with not as many slots with a clone character that takes over a spot just doesn't make any sense. I remember when Mario Kart 8 came out in 2014 and I got it, and even back then be confused on why this character was created. You know what it is? It's Peach, but it's pink gold. Wow, that makes her such an interesting character. Like, I mean, come on, like, screw all these fun characters, we're gonna have clones for now on. I just don't understand why Nintendo thought this was the best thing to do. Uh, we just had... Uh, and like I said, it's one thing for Mario Kart Tour. Mario Kart Tour has like an endless roster, but Mario Kart 8, it just doesn't work well. I just don't like seeing Pink Old Peach take over. Like, especially back when it was just Mario Kart 8, we had even less characters. No Boo, no Bowser Jr., no Dry Bones. Like, none of them made it into the game, but then this character did? What? And Pink Gold Peach doesn't even originate from anything. It's just a, a clone character made because why the heck not? This is an absolute lazy character, and this is not the only one that we're going to talk about. But I mean, Pink Gold Peach just happens to be the worst one out of all the clone characters, because at least some of these other ones have been in other Mario games, but Pink Gold Peach doesn't even, isn't even in any Mario game. She just exists because why the heck not? Even worse, she's in other games too, like Ultra Smash for an example. Not Ultra Smash, Ultra Tennis. It just doesn't make any sense why this character was created and brought back. It's not even the fact that... I don't think... It's not, it's not even the fact that they ran out of characters. I think she's just a joke character at this point, so Nintendo just brings her back in random games just because why the heck not? It's just, I don't know. Pinkle Peach is such a lazy option. I don't know why she was created in the first place. Let's pray to God that the next Mario Kart does not have any other non-Mario or clone characters. Because I'm tired of these characters existing. I think we should move on to number 41 now. I think I'm, I'm done with the clone rage for now. Number 41 is Inkling Boy. Uh, just like any of the other non-Mario characters, he's just here because why the heck not? Now this guy did not really... This guy wasn't introduced in the Mario Kart 8 DLC pack. Nah, he just joined the game once DLC for the Switch came out. Once Mario Kart 8 Deluxe came out for the Switch, he just decided to join the roster too. It's just such a weird combination. Eh. I guess out of the non-Mario characters, he's one of the more cooler characters. And he's kind of on par with number 40's Inkling Girl. Literally just the same thing as Inkling Boy, except it's a girl. And I swear the only reason why she's better than Inkling Boy is because of SMG4, because they use Inkling Girl as Maggie. Other than that, these two could literally just be interchangeable like all the other non-Mario characters. At least, this is the best non-Mario character. I think we're done with all these non-Mario characters. Let's move on to number 39 and hopefully something that isn't terrible, right? Well, it can't be. We're only at 39. Gold Mario. Eh, kind of like the same as Pinkled Peach, except the only reason why he's better is because he didn't take over a spot. The only spot he took over was Metal Mario, so I'm glad that they at least put him in with Metal Mario instead of wasting a character spot. But boiling it all down, he's still another clone character who doesn't exist. Aside from if you count New Super Mario Bros. 2 on the 3DS, 
then yes, he exists. But, or Mario Odyssey, but this came out before Mario Odyssey. It just doesn't make any sense why Nintendo thinks paint, if you paint Mario a gold color, he's interesting. I just don't understand why gold Mario is here in the first place. Him and Pink Gold Peach, plus a lot of these other clone characters, can just go and never return. It's, uh, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I just don't have any words for Gold Mario. So I think we should move on to number 38, which is... Metal Mario. Yep, might as well just put all these clones together. <sighs> I'm getting so sick of saying the same things over and over again. Why is Metal Mario a Mario Kart character? Also the fact that he was in Mario Kart 7 too. Why did they decide to bring him back to Mario Kart 8? It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Why? Why are these characters just... Uh, why? What? Why? What? Where? When? Like, I don't understand why Metal Mario got... Metal Mario and Leica 2 came back, but not someone like Diddy Kong or Bowser Jr. or some of those, you know, miles better characters. Well, yes, we did get Bowser Jr. in the future, and most likely Diddy Kong too, 99.9% .9 chance, but, I mean, before, when it was just Mario Kart 8, and we didn't even have, like, a lot of these other characters. We got Metal Mario again, and everyone was so confused why he returned rather than some other better character. Metal Mario is just a very strange character, and yes, I know, he does originate from Mario 64 and Mario 64 DS, but that still doesn't make it okay to put him in Mario Kart, and to waste a, and a, and to waste a character spot, really? Like I said before, it's one thing to have them in Tor, because Tor has literally everybody. It's basically a goof for a clone game, but or to have clones in it. But Mario Kart 8, really, a main Mario Kart game has this many clones? That is not cool or necessary. Like, why? Alright, I'm just done saying the same thing over and over again. So let's move on to number 37, which is... Cat Peach. Uh, I'm just getting so tired of repeating the same story over and over again. You want to hear a quick summary? Cat Peach is bad. Cat Peach should not have been in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Cat Peach shouldn't have been in Mario Kart at all to begin with. Cat Peach originates from Super Mario 3D World. Cat Peach is also in Mario Kart Tour. But Cat Peach should not have been in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Cat Peach wasted a character slot. Cat Peach is stupid. All Cat Peach does is meow at you. Great. The only reason why she's better than Pinkled Peach is because she originates from some sort of game and she just doesn't exist because why the heck not? So Cat Peach makes some sort of sense. Even then, she makes zero sense of why she's in Margaret 8 to begin with. I'm, d <sighs> I'm tired of all these clones. Can number 36 please not be a clone? Please. Please. Pity Piranha. Okay, we finally don't have a clone character to talk about, but really, Petty Piranha? Out of any Mario enemy, you chose Petty Piranha? And I know, Petty Piranha originates from Mario Kart Double Dash, Mario Kart Wise, and he was in Mario Kart Tour, plus he's beloved by many for some reason, so they decided to bring him back to Mario Kart 8. Because why the heck not? Like I said, we have three awesome characters that could have easily made it to the game. Funky Kong, Diddy Kong, and Pauline. They're all three good characters and, well at least for two of them, they're extremely underrated. But Pity Piranha? This is literally just a piranha plant with underwear. And he isn't really that good of a character in my opinion. He is extremely overrated. And, okay, I shouldn't say extremely, but he is definitely overrated. Like, really? What do you see in this plant that a lot of other characters don't have? He's big and massive. He sounds annoying. Like, literally, in Mario Kart Double Dash, it's so hard to see over him because he's so big. 
Now Mario Kart 8, his scale is down, he is scaled down a little bit, but he's just this giant massive thing that doesn't need to be included as a Mario character to begin with. And I know a lot of people really do like this character, but I really just despise this character. This was one of the characters I was not wanting in Mario Kart 8, but sort of had a feeling he would we would get him just because he's beloved by many for some reason. Like I don't I don't understand why we got Pity Piranha. Why Pity Piranha? We had Funky Kong, Diddy Kong, Pauline. One of those three could have easily made it, but now because of this dude, we can only have two out of those three characters. And I'm hoping for Diddy Kong and Pauline, by the way. But I don't know. I just don't understand the love for this plant. He's very ugly. He's massive. He just makes noises. Uh, this dude is really disgusting. He can. He belongs in spin-off games and Mario Party. That's fine, but. He doesn't need to waste a character spot in Mario Kart. Like, come on, are you kidding? He was already a bad enough character in Double Dash. Why bring him back? At least he ain't a clone, but this is almost as bad as... This is literally as bad as some of the clones. Like, I really despise Pity Piranha. And I know, I'm gonna get a lot of dislikes from this, plus some of the other characters I'm gonna put up lower too. But, I mean, just look at him. While a lot of people, well, there is a lot of people who do really like Pity Piranha, I just don't understand why. He's so ugly and he just doesn't match the Mario Kart 8 roster. He sticks out like a sore thumb. Like, he really does. Like, I would take Piranha Plant and Smash over Pity Piranha and Mario Kart. Because, I mean, Smash Bros, they can have any character they want at this point. I don't care. But Mario Kart 8 with its limited roster and Pity Piranha taking over what could have been Funky Diddy or Pauline just really pisses me off. Like, I did not want Pity Piranha from the beginning, but we got him anyway because of dumb luck. Because everyone wanted him, so here you go. Here's your Pity Piranha. Enjoy him while he's here. Because hopefully he ain't gonna be in Mario Kart 9. And if, and if he is, there better be a good roster that has a lot of people. And take out all the clones and non-Mario characters. Take out Pity, you know what, just take out Pity Prom at this point. I'm tired of him being an overrated character. Why are some of these characters so overrated and then some of the other ones that deserve the love just aren't overrated enough? Alright. I think I've said enough about Pity Piranha. Let's just move on to number 35, which is... Wendy. Okay, now this is one that I think a lot of people would more agree with me on. A lot of people can agree Wendy is easily the worst Koopaling, and it shows. I mean, she is a she has a very odd design as, a Koop, as the only female Koopaling. And, I don't know, she just looks plain ugly, not gonna lie. All the other Kooplings aren't bad, Wendy just looks super odd, and I personally don't mind the Kooplings in Mario Kart 8, I thought they were a great addition, but Wendy, eh, I'm not so sure about that one. I think I'm gonna stick to the other Kooplings or some of the other better characters. I don't know, Wendy's just one of my least favorite Kooplings. I, there's nothing else I really have to say. Let's move on to number 34, which is Dry Bowser. This is another one that I'm going to get a lot of dislikes for. For the two viewers that watch this video. <laughs> Anywho, Dry Bowser. I know a lot of you could be saying, but random vids, this dude is so cool. Like, he's a boat version of Bowser. And that's the thing. He's a bone version of Bowser. But boiling it down, this is just another clone character that came back unexpectedly. While, yes, admittedly, he is better than Pink Old Peach and Metal Mario, I do agree with that. But still, when you boil it down, this is just another clone character. And you might be thinking, well, what about Dry Bones? Isn't he a clone character of Koopa Troopa? Well, that's different. Dry Bowser is just, I don't know, he just popped up out of nowhere and he just, eh. He just ain't really that cool of a character, in my opinion. He just ain't really the, he ain't the main bone dude. I think there's better bone dudes out there. And you know what I mean once we get to him. Nothing much else here I have to say. Just another lazy clone character. Let's move on to number 33, which is... Like it too. Uh, this one, I, I don't understand. Sure, you might be saying, oh cool, this is an original. 
um, Mario enemy that they're adding. First off, Like It 2 is already an annoying character in the Mario games. He throws spinies at you, and in Mario Kart 8, you, and in Mario Kart games, especially in like Mario Kart 8, he won't even let you drive backwards. Like, what a jerk. This dude is easily one of my least favorite Mario enemies to begin with. And also the fact he already has a role in Mario Kart 8. He's the one who fishes players out of the lava and starts the races and stuff. It's kind of weird how Like It 2 saves Like It 2. And yes, this Like It 2 driving does have a red shell, while the one that starts the races has a green shell, but that still doesn't make it okay. And this is another one of those characters that just got ripped out of Mario Kart 7 because why the heck not? He's a very just odd character to have in Mario Kart, and once again, he wasted a character spot. Like, I could take out a lot of these Mario characters and put in much better characters. But no, we had clones and lazy options. Because, why the heck not at this point? Like, look at Mario Kart Tour with King bob -omb. Like, how did that guy get so overrated randomly? He's a bomb. Ugh. I'm, just, ugh. I'm gonna rage a lot. Just saying. I think we should move on now to number 32, which is... Tanuki Mario. Ugh, this is the last clone character, finally, and now we get some actual interesting-ish characters. Even then, we're still pretty far in, like, like the good category. Tanuki Mario, boiling it down yet again, is just another clone character. And he originates from, like, the 2D games with the Tanuki suit. Although, for some reason, I play as Tanuki Mario sometimes, which is kind of odd, because he's a clone character and normally I would hate them, which, yeah, I don't like Tanuki Mario, I don't think he should have been in Mario Kart 8, but, I don't know, I just find myself playing as him sometimes, just a little odd, because he ain't really that good of a character, but, I don't know, I just find him a little funny. I like how he just randomly screams, Tanuki, at you when you first pick him. It's just so random, and you gotta love how his, his horn is a, um... Tanuki tail sound. Other than that, though, he just boils down to another clone character. But, at least in my opinion, this is the best clone character. Nothing else I really have to say, so let's move on to number 31, which is... Baby Rosalina. This character is loathed and despised by many, and I personally can't really see why, besides the fact that I guess she sort of destroyed the character for Rosalina, but really, come on. Nintendo didn't create this character to destroy Rosalina's story in Mario Galaxy, they just created her because why the heck not. Might as well have more baby characters while we're at it, which, and, which I personally don't mind a lot of the baby characters. Well yeah, baby Rosalina is definitely the worst one out of them all. I don't hate her or anything, like I'd take her any day over Pity Piranha. Like I seriously would. But. The hate Baby Rosalina gets? Really? She is not that bad of a character. Certainly not the best, and in my opinion probably the worst baby character, but the absolute worst Mario character of all time? I don't think so. Overall, she just boils down to another just meh choice. I don't mind her, but she's fine for this one game. I don't, I don't know if I'd really want her to return, but she's not bad. So yeah, let's move on to number, I've lost count, 30 I believe we're at, which is Roy. Oh boy, be prepared for a lot of Koopalings right about now. Roy is a very odd fellow. He has sunglasses and yeah, he's an interesting character I guess. Better than Wendy, but I mean, it's just a normal old Koopaling. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? That one would be Morton. Literally the same thing as Roy, except he has no glasses on. This dude is massive for some reason, which I don't really know why, but okay. It's Morton. Not much else I really have to say. Let's move right on to the next one. Ludwig. Well, his blue hair, his blue spiky hair is kind of cool. Other than that, he's just Roy and Morton again. Except a little smaller and has proven to be the oldest Koopling out of them all, which is kind of bizarre. So, okay, whatever, I guess. Ludwig be Ludwig. But, then again, just boils down to another Koopling. Moving on. 
Larry. Very odd Koopaling. He has big hair and a star on his head? I don't know. This dude is kind of weird, but okay. Yet again, just another Koopaling. Not much else I really have to say. <laughs> it's just the same thing I've been saying. Koopaling, Koopaling, Koopaling. Uh, let's move on yet again. Iggy. <sighs> I'm tired of talking about these Koopalings at the point at this point. <laughs> Iggy's kind of cool though. He has some glasses and he has some interesting hair. So he is definitely a more interesting type of Koopaling. So yeah, nothing much else I really have to say, but cool, I guess. <laughs> I don't even remember what number we're on at this point. So let's move on to the next one, which is Wally G. Oh boy, get ready for a lot of rage and a lot of dislikes. Because I'm sure this is where the dislikes are going to flood in if they haven't already. Oh boy, Waligi, where did you go wrong? Now don't get me wrong, Waligi as a character, he's a pretty cool dude. I mean, he's literally just purple Luigi, so... Eh. If Mario can have a brother, then Wario can have a brother. Okay, that's fine. Like, Waligi's a fine dude. The problem with Waligi is that this dude is the number one most overrated Mario character of all time. More overrated than Pity Piranha and more overrated than Funky Kong. For some reason, if you make Luigi wear purple clothes, then he will be the best Mario character of all time. I will never, ever understand why this character gets so much love. Like, what is so interesting about this dude? He's literally just Luigi, but purple. Ah, I don't know. I've talked about this dude and his tracks so many times that it's not even funny. His tracks ain't even that interesting. Got Waligi Stadium, just a rip off of Wally of Wario Stadium. And both of the Wario Stadiums are a lot better. And then you got Waligi Pinball, the most overrated Mario Kart track too. I don't know why what people see in this dude that make him so god tier. Like I uh, it... It's just Purple Luigi, he ain't that interesting, and because he's so overrated, it pushes him down for me. Like, if he wasn't so overrated, maybe he would be in uh, the- Maybe he would be in the better half, but this dude is everywhere. Every time we have, like, a new Mario Kart or a new game, the, no the character who always shows up in the predictions list is Wally -E Genie. he's usually number one. I think it's just because... A lot of pe I think it's just because he ain't in Smash Bros. Ultimate, and a lot of people are kind of annoyed with that. Also, the fact that he wasn't in Mario Kart 7, and that's when Wally G Pinball came back. So what? Daisy hasn't been in Smash Bros. Ultimate, or Smash Bros. till Smash Bros. Ultimate, but apparently her appearance is just meh. Who cares about Daisy? She's an underrated character who's actually, you know, quite interesting. But no, Waligi, who's literally just a... He, he's almost a clone of Luigi at that point. He's so similar. And no, I'm not saying he's an exact clone, but I mean... Come on. Not even Wario, Mario, or Luigi are this, like, overrated. And Mario is the main Mario character. Everyone just sees him as, you know, the main Mario character. But no, Waligi is this overrated god that everyone must love. Well, I'm sorry, but Waligi just ain't that good in my opinion. He's fine, but the best Mario character of all time? Absolutely not. There was a 0% chance that would ever, ever happen. There is no way this overrated dude would ever be the best character in my opinion. I really just don't like the overrated characters as you can see. If they're more overrated, the lower I put them. Why put them so high when everyone else does? Like, I'm just tired of seeing characters like Waligi and Pity Piranha being at the tippy tops of the list. What is so interesting about these characters? I don't understand. Waligi is just... Luigi, but purple. And yes, you might be looking at the other little details too, but I mean, 
Uh, he's just Luigi, but purple. There's nothing else I really have to say. This dude is the number one most overrated Mario character of all time, and I will never under I will never see why and understand why. Besides the fact that he ain't in Smash Bros. Ultimate, and that he has a decent, not even that, Mario Kart track that's overrated too. But this dude, ugh. Out of all the main Mario Go Mario characters, I play as him as the, like the least, just because. I see YouTube videos of everyone playing, especially like, you know, when the booster cor por when the booster course came out and Wave 3 came out, everyone was playing as Waligi and the Wiggler for some reason. Why? Oh, apparently it was the fastest thing. Of course Waligi's gonna have the fastest thing, so now we're gonna see Waligi everywhere. Ugh. I am so sick. I am so sick of this character. If he gets any more love, he's gonna be worse than the Koopalings, clones, and non-Mario characters soon. Just kidding, I don't think that would happen, but I mean, you get what I mean. If he wasn't so overrated, he wouldn't be a bad character. But he's so overrated, he's everywhere, so no thank you. Waligi is nowhere near one of my favorites. We should stop raging about Waligi at this point. Anywho, let's move on to number whatever, 24, which is Baby Peach. So this character ain't as hated as Baby Rosalina is, which is understandable. And Baby Peach has been in other games too, like the Mario and Luigi saga thing, whatever you want to call it. Plus she was in Mario Wii and of course Mario Tour. So Baby Peach is kind of an interesting, is a pretty interesting baby. And like I said, she's better than Baby Rosalina, but not as good as the other three. But hmm, heck, there's nothing else I really have to say. She's just a she's a fine baby character. Let's move on to number 23, which is Wiggler. Wow, what a bizarre character that I did not think we were gonna get back. Honestly, I've grown to like him a little more. He was in Mario Kart 7, and he was fine, but Mario Kart 7 really lacked in characters. Mario Kart 8 at this point, like they at they had a pretty good roster to begin with, and then we got more for the DLC, and now we're getting booster course characters. So I don't really mind seeing characters like Wiggler return. He's a pretty interesting character. Plus, I like the fact that whenever he gets hit, he turns red too. Although, like I said, there is better options, but at least he's better than Pity Piranha. The bug is better than the plant, 100%. He's a decent enough character, although I didn't predict him. I didn't predict him for Mario Kart 8, but he's fine. And you might be saying, uh, Brandon Vids, Wiggler's like the same size as Pity Piranha. Uh, no. Wiggler is definitely a lot smaller than Pity Piranha. It's so hard to see over that dude. I don't even, I don't like that dude. Wiggler is definitely a better Mario Kart character. Now let's move on to number 22, which is Baby Daisy. Kind of like Baby Peach, but better, just because Daisy's goofier. So of course Baby Daisy's going to be goofier too. Also like her in Mario Kart Wii, where you select her and she starts dancing. She's just an interesting, funny character. And yet again, another pretty good baby character that's extremely underrated. Yes, I am putting a lot of the underrated people up here at the tops. At the top laugh, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. Nothing else I really have to say. Pretty good baby character. Now let's move on to number 21, which is... Birdo. You gotta love how when Wave 4 came out and they announced Birdo was coming back, like, what? We were not expecting them to bring Birdo back. But, heck, I'm glad they did. I don't understand the hate for Birdo, honestly. Well, yeah, she is a very odd-looking character with a weird snout and stuff. I mean, she's been in Double Dash, she's been in Wii, she's a regular Mario Kart character, and unlike the plant, like Petey Piranha, Birdo, is at, Birdo actually makes more sense. Plus, I don't know, like I said, she just makes more sense, and she's a better character in my opinion. And yes, she is a she, not a he. I don't know what part of her looks like a he, but whatever. She is a she, and that is that. And I'm glad they brought Birdo back to Mario Kart 8 finally. Now we just need to hope for Diddy Kong and Pauline. Those are my two choices. Now let's move on to number 20, which is... Wario. So, kind of like Waligi, except not as overrated. Which of course, which is why he's not as bad. 
Well, I do think to some consent war to some t t t t t t to some parts, Wario is kind of overrated too at some points. I mean, he has a lot of pretty good tracks. Plus, because he's the overrated guy's brother, of course, he's gonna get a lot of love too. Uh, yet again, that just kind of pushes down Wario's character. Well, I do think Wario is definitely better than Waluigi. That's only by a bit. That's only mainly just because he's not over as overrated as Waluigi is. Wario is definitely still kind of overrated, but not as much as definitely nowhere near Waluigi or even like Pity Piranha or Funky Kong. So, Wario, he's a decent character. Not much else I really have to say. So let's move on to number 19, which is... Shy Guy. Now you see, this is a good character that they brung back from Mark 7. Unlike Like It 2 and Metal Mario that they randomly decided to bring back, Shy Guy is actually, you know, a, a good character. He's a main Mario villain who makes sense, kind of like Birdo. And like Birdo, you can use a bunch of different colors for Shy Guy too, which if and which I'm glad that they put it in his character where a little scream comes down instead of, you know, wasting another character spot. So it's kind of cool how they did that, and it works quite well. They did the same with the Birdos, of course, as I said, too, once she came out in Wave 4. And overall, Shy is just a pretty good character. He, ain't, he, he definitely ain't my favorite, but I'm glad they brought him back. He's a good character to keep. Now let's move on to number 18, which is... Boo. You see, or King Boo, I guess. You see, this is a cool Double Dash character that they brought back. And yes, he was partners with one of the worst Double Dash, probably the second worst Double Dash character of all time, Pity Piranha. But, see, King Boo coming back actually makes sense, because he was also in Mario Kart Wii, as well as, of course, Tor. But, I don't know, King Boo just works a little bit better as a Marker character. Well, yeah, he is a ghost who drives, which is kind of weird. It does make more sense, and he's a main Mario character, so why the heck not at this point? He's a pretty cool character, and he ain't too annoying like Pity Piranha is, too. He's a overall interesting character, and, he has, and you gotta love his tracks, too. Now let's move on to number 17, which is... DK, or Donkey Kong. So yeah, Donkey Kong is a very odd gorilla, but I mean... He's a main Mario character who's been in, like, every Mario Kart game since the N64 one. And, I mean, it just wouldn't make sense for him not to be in this one. Because he's been in almost every Mario Kart game now at this point. So, yeah, he's a pretty interesting 